I put together this little pan and tilt from Hobby King yesterday. This little item right here, uh, $29. <laughs> it's almost worth it for the two servos. Uh, there's not much to it except for the two servos. Really easy to put together. Uh, the bottom piece, servo screws in. This little cup goes around the... Uh, this piece that tilts right here with this servo mounted in here uh, really really simple and it works well uh, 30 bucks you got everything you need really simple setup and uh, like I say two servos that shows the little piece on the tilt part outside this little cradle. That's interesting. Anyway, that's what we're I put together yesterday. So I could mount a camera on the rover that so I can look around. Construction guys are pretty much gone right now. Uh, this is a real simple pan and tilt to put together. I've got the screw out of it right now. As I'm mounting it on the uh, rover, like I said, you can see the servo on the inside of this little plastic piece. Uh, this is a Metal Gear servo, comes as part of the kit. So the servo, the plastic piece, two screws, that's it. And then the upper piece is a little u-shaped cradle that the control horn has a place to go into and is screwed into but then the screw to hold the control horn onto the servo here is then screwed back down in there and then the servo actually the small servo screws right here and here to this plastic camera mount and then that lets the little sleeve right here come out of that plastic piece through this cradle part and then you also have a place on this side for the control horn and the control horn is screwed in here and then the screw right here to hold the control horn onto the servo basically completes it that's it uh, there's two screws through the back holding this camera on right now. Uh, but there that is. It's a nice little cute. <laughs> Maybe cute ain't the word for it. It's a nice little simple pan and tilt mechanism for uh, a little... I guess they were used for board cameras in the original days, but now it's uh, used for these little, this is a run cam owl plus, I believe. So let's mount it on the rover. I had to take this apart again to get my connector on the camera. So this is the other little plastic piece that comes with the pan and tilt. It's got some screw holes for cameras. I used these diagonal ones. And then like I say, oops, just dropped a piece. The servo itself goes in like this, right here, where this little collar which is an ear on the plastic piece that goes in the little cradle. So now we screw two screws through here again. I had to take this servo off and take the plate off to uh, run the wires to the uh, camera, to the video transmitter right here and I'm not quite sure yet how I'm going to route these. If I go inside here and then put this cradle on 
through this little collar right here and then to the other side could have some rubbing so I really don't want it between those two and even if it's up here above it oops and I go ahead and put this back on like that it can get down in there and get pinched so I haven't quite figured out how I'm going to do that. I'm not going to put that screw back in right now because I'm not real sure that servo is actually at neutral. We'll set it to neutral and then do that. The same for the one for the pan servo down here. I haven't put that screw back in yet. But that's basically it. I'll route this power and video cable to the camera someplace. This second servo connector needs to go through the hole in the top. Oops. Blah. I made my hole just a little bit too small. It's okay. Uh, there we go and we'll route this the best thing for cutting tie wraps and we'll figure out something to do with this video cable on top there's our two servo wires through the top now they have a slight problem no big deal they don't quite reach the uh, receiver back here for control, so I have to put a little extension on them. That's about it. There's the little Turnigy pan and tilt mounted on the rover. Uh, got the plastic on the top and then the Tupperware the rovers in and then I've got a little piece of that plywood that I had mounted back and forth here with the cameras on it. I've got it under there now with four holes in it with screws through the four corners of the little bottom of the little pan servo housing there and then there's our tilt servo let me put some extension cables on the RC connectors. Okay, I put the servo lead extensions on and programmed it on my radio. And now this stick turns the rover right and left, forward, stop, reverse. And this one will turn the camera left and right and also up and down i got it doing a little more up than down not much i need really need to see in front of me so there that is i'm finished i now have a pan and tilt mechanism on the camera on the rover so i can watch out for cars and stuff in my driveway uh, they basically finished the house. There's not much construction going on over there anymore. Uh, and whoever moves in, my landlord or a renter, there'll be an additional family coming in and out the bottom part of the driveway. So I still have to be able to look quickly to the right and quickly to the left. Uh, this is just a 180 degree servo, so I've just got 90 degrees on each side. The other two pan and tilts I have over there are 360. I can look behind me, but we'll not worry about that right now. So there's that project finished. Don't know what else to say about it. Just a one-day little build.